Good morning, dear student. Myself, Videsh Sharma. We are discussing about the simple stress and strain. What is what is simple stress and what is simple strain? Before starting to simple stress and strain, first we will discuss the load. What is load? Basically, load is defined as the set of external forces acting on a mechanism or engineering structure which will arise from the service condition in which the components work. Compound loads in engineering application are the tensile and compression. Tensile are direct pull force present in lifting hoist. Compression direct push force acting on the pillar of building. Sign conversation basically if we talk about the tensile forces, when we talk about the tensile forces, if we apply direct force in this way, so this is so this is tensile force. So sign convention for the tensile force, we will take tensile force as a positive force and compression force. This is the compression force. In this particular, uh, we are applying a force in a compression manner. After discussing the we will discuss the different types of load. There are a number of different types of load by which, uh, which is applied to a member. First is dead or static load. As the name suggests, no force. It is the simply a load which is caused by the gravity. Second is the live load. Live load is a dynamic force. Load due to external or something uh, when a lorry is moving on the bridge or a pedestrian is moving on the bridge. These are the live loads. Impact loads or shock loads due to the sudden force. If some, uh, if I am moving with a water, that water is fall from my hand and it just strike the floor. The, type of loading is called as factor of shock load. Fatigue or alternate load magnetic sign forces changing with the time. Fatigue or fatigue loads basically is the type of load which changes which whose magnitude changes with respect to the time. Time ke saath unka jo hai, sign change unka rata hai. That is known as fatigue loads. Now we come to the stresses. Basically, if we talk about the stress, then the general formula of the stress is stress is equal to force upon area. Or we can say, this is the mathematical formula, that is the stress is equal to force upon area. But if we talk about the definition of the stress, then the stress is defined as resistance offered by the body against the external force per area. That is known as stress. When a material is subjected to an external force, a resisting force is set up within the component and this internal resistance force per unit area is known as stress. The unit of the stress is Newton per square meter. The Newton per square meter is known as Pascal. 1 kilo Pascal is equal to 1000, 1 kPa is equal to 1000, 1 MPa is equal to 10 to the power 6 Pa, 1 GPa is equal to 10 to the power 9 and so on. That means the unit of the SI unit of the stress is Pascal, that is Newton per square meter. Okay. In the engineering application, we use the original cross section area of the stress component, also known as it is also known as conventional stresses and engineering stresses. Now we talk about the strain. Stress and strain. Strain, if we talk about the strain, then strain basically change in dimension with respect to the original dimension. And when we talk about the strength, strain is known as change in dimension with respect to the original dimension. When a body is subjected to some external force, there is some changes of dimension of the body. The ratio of change of dimensions of the body to its original dimension, that is known as strain. Strain is a dimensionless quantity. Change in length with respect to the original length, length, length will cancel out and it is known as dimensionless quantity. If we talk about the type of different strengths, so strengths are tensile strain, compressive strain, volumetric strain, shear strain. Tensile strain, the ratio of increase when we apply the tensile force, the elongation will take place. Elongation that means the length of the bar or the component will increase. 
the ratio of the increase of the length to the original length of the body is known as tensile strain and compressive strain the ratio of decrease if we apply the compressive force to a member it will reduce the length of the member then it is known as compressive strain See? similarly just when we uh, talk about the stresses tensile stresses are positive compressive stresses are negative similarly tensile strains are positive and compressive strains are negative volumetric strain is change in ratio of the volume to the change in ratio of the volume with respect to the original volume of the body shear strain is the deformation generated in the body this is because of the shear stress when we talk about the shear stress shear stress is the stress which is generated because of the tens tangential force applied to the surface um, now we talk about the different types of stresses when we talk about the different types of stresses the stresses are classified into three categories direct indirect and combined direct stresses are shear stress and normal stresses normal stresses are further classified into tensile and compressive basically this is the classification of the direct shear stress when we talk about the normal stress normal method if we apply a force longitudinal to this member so this force is perpendicular to this area so this is normal to this particular area and therefore this stress is normal to this area and known as normal stresses normal stresses are two types one is tensile when we apply the tensile force and second one is the compressive when applied when we apply compressive force along with this direct stress is the shear stress shear stress means when we apply tangential force this is the tangential force when we apply tangential force to a surface it is known as shear but because of the shear force the stress is generated that is known as shear stress so this all comes under the umbrella of direct shear or direct stress sorry it comes under the direct stresses when we talk about the indirect stress indirect stress matlab we applied loads at some point and stresses are generated at some other point that means torsional and bending first we understood the difference between the torsion and bending when we talk about the torsion the torsion when we apply a couple of force in this way this is torsion and bending is this this is bending this is torsion okay so bending and torsion stresses are indirect stresses and combined stresses are the stresses which are the combination of direct as well as with the indirect stresses this is all about the types of stresses okay these are the definitions to start with the normal stresses is the stress which act in the direction perpendicular to the area normal stress is further classified into tensile stress and compressive stress tensile stress is the stress induced in a body when it is subjected to equal and opposite forces which are pulls generally otherwise will not have the tension this is the pull here this is the pull and it acts normal to the area and pull the area type of the direct to understand the direct is consider a bar subjected to a tensile force p acting at its end that a is the cross section area of the bar l is the original length of the body dl is the increase in the length of the body due to the pull force p sigma is the stress induced in the body small a is the tensile strain and consider the section xx which divide the body into two halves this is the section which we have considered these are the forces p think this is the cross section area which we have taken a when we cut the section into two halves at xx this is the left hand part and this is the right hand part then okay? so this is the resist, result resisting force when we talk about the resisting force that means if some external force is applied to the object against that that particular external when we apply force to a object it resists the force to resist the force an internal force is generated that is known as resisting force and this resisting force per unit area is known as stress this is the resisting force if we understand this is the resisting force and this resisting force divided by per unit area 
is known as stress is tensile stress the string force cross section area applied force is equal to applied force divided by cross section area that is p upon a tensile stress is equal to increase in the length divided by original length that is delta l divided by l compressive stress if we talk about the compressive stress the stress induced in a body when the subjected to equal and opposite push and talk about push then this is push you push this is push then we are applying compressive force the it acts normal to the area and pushes on the area in some cases the loading situation is that we that the stress will vary cross section wise given section in such cases the stresses at any point given by compressive stresses this is the phenomena when we apply the compressive force same thing but the change for change is what compressive strain is equal to decrease in the length divided by original length this is compressive now the last that is the shear stress shear stress induced in a body when subjected to equal and opposite forces are acting tangential go across the resisting section resisting section ka matlab kya hai if we talk about a surface this force is normal this is tangential so this tangential force will generate the shear stress on this area and the stress produced by this tangential force is known as tangential shear stresses so this is all about the direct stresses in this lecture thank you stay home stay safe